I'm so close to the treasure. I can feel it in my top hat. Oh, it's such a good thing I remembered what the map looked like. Chuck later took it. But now it's okay. According to the map, the treasure should be buried right here. <laughs> it is so hot. Why am I wearing a cape? It is heat. I hate digging. Wait. Maybe I don't have to. <laughs> Cactus Canyon! Yeah! Boy, I could sing that song all day long. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Why don't we take a look at the map, Deputy Dan? We should be getting pretty close to the treasure by now. Okay, well, let's take a look here. Well, ooh, according to the map, we're right here. The treasure's right there. Chuck, we found the treasure. Let's go. Woo! Boy, and it even comes with its own shovel. Woohoo! Well, it looks like you know what you're doing, Deputy Dan, so I'm just gonna sit down and watch. <gasps> Look, it worked. He's digging up the treasure for me. <laughs> now, all I must do make a trap. Yes, a trap. And then the treasure will be mine. <laughs> Want some water, Deputy Dan? It's pretty hot out here. Water? I'm too excited to drink water. Oh man, this treasure is so close and I can almost taste it. it tastes a little bit like dirt right now. Well, okay, suit yourself. What was that? Oh, did you find it? Oh, I guess you did. So, we gonna open it now? Actually, I had an idea. I was thinking we could take it back to my family's house to open it. That's a pretty good idea. I'm sure your family would appreciate that. Let's get going. Oh boy, I sure had fun looking for this treasure, Chuck. I cannot wait to open this. How about you? Chuck. Hey Chuck, where'd you go? Deputy Dan, I'm calling you out. Showdown. I don't think that's a very good idea, partner. You count it off. Neither of us will count. You, count. Oh, man. Yes, you. One. I have you right where I want you. Me too. You're empty. So are you. Alright. Uh, so, how's the family? Oh, they're fine. By the way, I've always admired your top hat. Really? You don't find it to be a little too much? Well, I'm full. So am I. Hey, can't we just work this out over a cup of coffee? No! I hate coffee. One of us is going to get wet today, and it's not going to be me. Okay. Can't say I didn't warn you, though. Hey! Where'd you go? I'm right here, Deputy Dan. Put your hands up. 
Now get a move on. Get a move on. Oh, hey, Chuck, how's it going? Up next to you. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. Ah, the treasure. At last, it's mine. <laughs> I'll see you two gentlemen later. Sorry, but I'm taking this with me. <laughs> Watch up! No! Ah! Oh, no! 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 Well, that was anticlimactic. Uh, Anti who? Never mind. Uh, well, Victor Van Vampernickel, looks like you got caught in your own trap. Now there's only one thing left to do. We give him flowers. No. Oh. We use this. Ooh, well, what, what are you going to do? Uh, no, I. I can't take pain. I I couldn't even dig a hole. No, mommy, mommy, no, mommy, don't let them hurt me. I I I don't understand. Why why did you help me? Because God wants us to be kind to everyone and tell them about the good news of Jesus. God loves everyone, even you. Even me? But I been so evil. Hey, that's okay. God loves you anyways. Really? Well, will God forgive me of all my evilness? Even, even the cookies? Yep. yep. Hey, how about you come over to my family's house? We'll tell you about it on the way. Come on, let's go. Really? Yeah, let's go. Here you go, Victor. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey kids. I can't believe we finally found the treasure. I can't wait to see what's inside. Victor Van Vampernickel sure was pretty happy when we helped him and told him about the good news of Jesus. And today you're going to be able to learn how to tell everyone you know about Jesus too. Pretty cool. Well, we're getting pretty close to Deputy Dan's house. We better hurry up and get back there so we can open up that treasure and see what's in it. But we will see you tomorrow. Come on, guys. Chuck Leader and Deputy Dan have finally found the treasure, and Victor Von Vampernickel has given up his villainy ways. What is in the treasure chest? Will they still share it? Will Deputy Dan's mom make more cookies? Come back tomorrow to Cactus Canyon to find out. <laughs> <laughs>